Welcome back to another episode of Tech TLDR. Today I have a quick update on the SN9's launch date. More news to come on that, more delays. So let's get right into this. If we look on the FAA's temporary flight restriction log, we can now see that the dates have changed. So if we go to the Texas area, space operations for January 13th, January 14th, and January 15th are now in effect. We no longer have the January 12th. Tuesday. So it's not happening today, unfortunately. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing happening today because as I went on Twitter, I found a little more juicy information. So the SN9 area, apparently, this is coming from Boca Chica Gal on Twitter, a local resident of the area. They issued a warning that from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the area, they're going to be doing spaceflight testing, which means that they're going to be doing a static fire test in that area. If you don't know, the static fire test always comes right before the actual launch, so I wouldn't be surprised if by tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll see the actual launch commence. And if you don't know, the SN9, the reason why there's so much hype around it and it's such a big deal is because if SpaceX can do the hop test, launch it in the air, have it come back down, and if they can successfully land it, then they've made a major milestone in the engineering of this project. Once they can do that, they can do a lot of other things such as the orbit launches. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried doing the whole docking of two of the starships together to refuel one another, but they need to do a landing test first and it needs to be successful. So everybody is super hyped about this. I'm personally super hyped about this. I don't want to see an SN8 explosion again. I want to see an SN9 landing. Once that happens, the sky, no, the sky is not the limit. There's a lot more of the limit. Now, I think a big reason why they're postponing it, SpaceX, super elusive. They haven't really announced anything. I know a commenter in my last episode had said that a cement truck had actually tipped over, and that was a reason why. Also, I heard that there was very inclement weather in the area. On Sunday, I know there was. I don't know about why today, though, because I heard yesterday was a little iffy, but I'm not really sure why today. I, I would assume that the cement truck would be out of there by now. They would have had that fixed, and... Again, the weather as it was yesterday, I'm hoping that it's a weather-related reason why they're not doing a liftoff. I hope it has nothing to do with the systems. Like I said, they already did a static fire, and that went successful. So I can't imagine that it's a system problem. We're going to find out hopefully soon. I'm sure once they actually do the test, they actually launch this thing, they'll give a little more insight as to why it took so long. Now, personally, I've been waiting since last week. I thought that's when we were going to have the original uh, launch. It's not the case. I mean, Friday is going to be it, and then they postpone, and it was like, oh, well, maybe maybe Monday. Now, no, not Tuesday. Now, Wednesday's hopefully the date. I'm getting a little more, uh, a little lackey with each and every one, but this could be it. Fingers crossed really hoping it is let me know in the comments what you think if you know any other reasons why they haven't done the launch yet i'm curious i always like to hear new info about this stuff obviously all my information is coming a lot of it from twitter or from articles that i'm reading online i'm pretty much compressing everything i can get and giving it to you guys hence the name tldr that's what it's all about on this channel but that's all I have on this episode. So if this is the type of content you like, this is what you want to hear, by all means, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, notification bell, let me know in the comments what you think, and have a good one.